Hi everyone, and welcome to the latest Trend Watch from CompTIA Research, where we give you a little bit of this and a little bit of that from the data that we've been collecting in the industry. I'm Seth Robinson, and we're going to be talking about cybersecurity today. And in our latest cybersecurity research, we use the enterprise architecture model to describe how companies should be thinking about their cybersecurity strategy, how they should be taking a top-down approach, uh, rather than just purchasing technology uh, and, and trying to do the same thing that they've always done. So this enterprise architecture model has four different layers, the business architecture, the application architecture, the data architecture, and the technology architecture. And today we're going to be talking about those second two, data and technology, where it starts to get a little bit more tactical. The first two were more about strategy. And now with the data layer and the technology layer, it's starting to get down into tactics. So with the data layer, uh, which sometimes is put a little bit higher uh, because companies need to be thinking holistically about their data, we put it a little bit lower after companies are thinking about the workflow uh, and then starting to think about exactly what they need to do with their data because data is moving around a lot more than it used to. There's a lot of talk, uh, there has been a lot of talk over the past decade or so in cybersecurity circles about the erosion of the secure perimeter. And, and you don't just have a firewall anymore that you can put all of your corporate information and systems behind. Uh, these data and application are moving all over the place. They're moving into cloud providers, they're on mobile devices. Uh, and so they each need their own focused attention. Uh, and so when it comes to data, we asked companies uh, if they are trying to do more with data than they've been doing in the past. Uh, and 86% of the companies that we surveyed said that they're placing more emphasis on data today than they did two years ago, with 46% of those saying that they're placing far more emphasis on data today than they did two years ago. And I don't think that should really surprise anyone. Uh, we've, we've been seeing that increased emphasis as companies have been wanting to do more advanced analytics. And now we're seeing even more of an emphasis as companies are wanting to use AI and they have to train that AI properly with some of their own data if they want the best results. And so all of that means you have to have a data strategy uh, and data management fundamentals, which is something that we see companies you know, struggling with a little bit. And you also have to have data security. Uh, in our survey, when we asked people, what are some of the focus areas that they have in the field of data? The top three responses were all around data security. So it was around securing data on networks, securing data in those cloud providers, and then securing data on the endpoints that employees are using. And again, this might be a little bit skewed because it was a cybersecurity survey. Uh, maybe in a data focused survey, you would see a little bit more emphasis on analytics, but Clearly, securing this data is really important, especially as you don't want the data to be corrupted if you're trying to use it to input uh, an AI-enabled workflow. So with all the emphasis that companies are placing on data, there has to be this special emphasis on securing that data as well. And then that brings us to the technology architecture layer, uh, which is really where things get down to brass tacks uh, and companies have to start thinking about the actual technology that they're purchasing and whether or not that technology is doing the job that they want it to do. One of the most common questions we get asked is what the impact is of cybersecurity incidents. And in our survey, when we asked companies and respondents to think about the past year, uh, they, they said that many of them had seen cybersecurity incidents and 59% said that the impact of those incidents was either severe or moderate, uh, including things like the technical staff having to work overtime, the business staff not being able to work on the things that they need to work on, uh, possibly purchasing new hardware or software, or doing communications with your customers to alert them of a data breach. So all of these things can come in uh, as an impact and the cost of those things can be quite high, uh, especially if you're a small or medium-sized business. Uh, the, the cost of that can be really serious when, when it's compared to the, the revenue that you're bringing in. Uh, so on top of the impact of incidents, we also asked companies about the different assets that they tried to manage. And again, this could include endpoints for employees, cloud data on premises applications, uh, IoT or operational technology equipment, which is becoming more and more uh, popular in cybersecurity uh, practices. 
So all of these things fall under the management of a cybersecurity team. Uh, and, and one of the more surprising pieces of data that we had is that there was relatively low confidence around the, the visibility and the approach that was being taken on all of these different asset classes. Uh, we, we saw a range of about 44 to 51% for companies saying that they had really high confidence in their visibility and their approach to any of these asset classes. Uh, and obviously you'd want that to be quite a bit higher when all of these things are, are being used to kind of drive the business uh, and, and achieve the business's objectives. So I think there's a lot of work to be done uh, in understanding what a digital footprint looks like and what kind of cybersecurity strategy and tactics you want to apply to every piece of that digital footprint. Uh, there's a lot more information in our report. I'd invite everyone to, to check that out. And that'll do it for today's Trend Watch. So we will see you next time.